Hi everyone, it's Vijay from Auntie V's Kitchen with a quick and easy tiramisu recipe. Tiramisu is an authentic Italian dessert and remains to be a classic global favorite. After much research, I've simplified this recipe, making it alcohol-free, cholesterol light, and eggless, with the taste and flavor not very different from the original. This way, the whole family would be able to enjoy it, including the kids. Tiramisu is a great dessert to make in advance and can be refrigerated or frozen, but be sure to dust the cocoa just before serving to freshen it up. If you need an eggless and no-bake recipe, this is for you. If you love ice cream like I do, I've also made an ice cream tiramisu version. I'll leave the link below. Enjoy. Here are the list of ingredients. Mascarpone cheese, whooping cream, 35% or more, ladyfinger biscuits, vanilla essence, that's pure vanilla essence, coffee, hot water, and sugar. Make the coffee and I'll allow it to cool. Add in the sugar and stir. So whip the cream and the sugar together until soft peaks form. Add in the vanilla and just blend it in. Soft peaks. Add in the mascarpone cheese and we're gonna blend that. So this is a correct stage. There's the, with the mascarpone cheese, it's nice and stiff and fluffy. So I'm gonna refrigerate this again. Spray your serving dish so that the slices come out clean when you're serving it. So once the coffee is uh, room temperature, uh, we'll come back and assemble the tiramisu. So now we're dipping the ladyfinger biscuits into the coffee. And we're gonna line this pan with the ladyfingers. So you need to dip really quick. If you take too long to dip this or leave it in the coffee, they go turn into mush. So you need to work really fast or do your dipping really fast. So the cookies are still firm when you're lining your serving dish. So we'll do this and come back. So we've done the first layer at the base of the serving dish and uh, if the cookies don't fit um, exactly, you can break them and they break quite easily so that you get a nice, full, firm, even layer at the bottom. So now we're gonna top it up with some cream. So you know, just divide the cream into two layers and smooth it over. So we'll do that and come back and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's an even layer of uh, the cream and mascarpone uh, mix. Uh, so once it's even, we have to do another layer of ladyfinger biscuits. And... We're gonna just do 
soak them and arrange them evenly on this layer. So we'll do that and come back. So now we've done the second layer of ladyfinger biscuits on top and uh, you can see on this side I patched it up a little bit there but uh, no worries because the cream will cover that layer and so long as it's nicely tightly packed with cookies so when you're cutting a slice then it's um, a nice slice of lady fingers together with the uh, cream mix so now it's time to add the next layer of uh, cream we're going to add the next layer of cream and smooth this out so if you're adding alcohol you can add it to your coffee before you dip your biscuits and um, and then um, the flavor will be nicely um, evened out. So we're going to smooth this out and we'll be back. So here's a second layer of uh, mascarpone uh, whipping cream topping. Uh, the next phase will be the finishing stage where you just dust some cocoa, which I forgot to put in my list of ingredients. It just needs a dusting of cocoa, but I'm going to refrigerate it first and then dust it and uh, we'll come back. So I refrigerated just to um, make the topping a little bit cold so the cocoa doesn't soak into it too much. So you put it through a strainer and just dust it evenly all around. Make sure to get the edges nicely and put a thick layer uh, on it so that you can't see the frosting on it. Uh, it's a good make ahead dessert so you can make it and dust it just before serving. It can also be frozen, made ahead and frozen. So uh, you can thaw it maybe about 30 minutes at room temperature before serving and then dust it. Um, so it's a good easy dessert to make. So we'll do this and come back. This is a low cholesterol recipe because I left out the egg yolks and no alcohol. But it's up to you. I have it as a variation in my uh, recipe.